Go with me. Woo! Oh my god, alright, don't... Put the headset on. Put, put the... Put the... Put the headset on. Congratulations, man. <laughs> Thanks. How you feeling right now? Extremely tired. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> so... I think, like, I told you after you played Zero the first time, we learned a lot today from watching you play. Um, and we spoke briefly about, you know, you you have a lot of information about your character <laughs> and how to play your character uh, innovator, just like you did in Brawl with Zero Suit. Um, you had a lot of lot of stuff in the database, man. <laughs> did we see all of it today, or do you still have some tricks? There's still a little bit more. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, let's say a quarter is left. There's still, like, an entire quarter. <laughs> and you're saving it for that national, I bet, right? <laughs> I don't need to practice a lot to get it all down. Oh, but most wow. of it has worked in this tournament. Yeah. Like, well, pretty much all that, that entire part. Okay. Yeah, and talk talk to us about some of the sets you played, man. Uh, talk to me about Zero, man. Oh. It's not every day, every day someone beats Zero, but you du double eliminated them, man. So uh, talk to us about that real quick. That set. Uh, well, it's like... <laughs> I always wanted to play him for one, mm -hmm. and uh, we got to play at Eva. <laughs> yeah, it was like very close. Last game, last hit. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, th th technically, this always has happened between us. Okay. Uh, like before, before that, I believe really, it was like an online tournament. Mm -hmm. It's like an invitational for all the top players online. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was in there. I had to play Zero. Uh -huh. at, the, at the time, I played like Villager. <laughs> it was like o always close. Yeah. Like, if anything, he couldn't actually just kill me. He had to like time me out or something. Oh, wow. And before that, at a, like Sky's Invitational, mm -hmm. it basically was the same thing. Wow. Like, the, it was always even. Unless, yep. like, well, if the jank stages are on like Halberd, like, mm. like remember Rogue back in the day, yeah, yeah, that, that was hard day. stuff. <laughs> that was hard stuff. But yeah, today, like, what was going through your mind, like, because all most bayonetas that I talked to, man, they dread that Diddy Kong matchup. <laughs> that so, matchup isn't bad like this, like even. Oh, like, they really? basically have to do the same thing against each other. Do all, oh, just wait, mm -hmm. be patient, and then like it's like 50-50 everywhere. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, Bayonet is going to take a lot of percentage because eventually he, there's going to be just small in, instruments uh -huh. where it's like she, she has to do something. Because, mm -hmm. yes. you know, the greed is there. Like, you can just do a whole bunch of damage. That's, mm -hmm. that's why you can afford to just risk things. Okay. Like, she, she, she has, like, literal risk and high reward. So mm -hmm. it's, like, fine to do those things. And uh, very interesting, using the Banana Trip hitbox... <laughs> um, witch time to, for the AOE bubble of witch time. Yeah, amazing stuff, man. That <laughs> like, like, when did you start to implement that in that matchup? Like, when did you realize, like, hey, well, well, I'm gonna use this? <laughs> it was kind of like the first time I went to a tournament with Bayonetta. Okay, like I believe I played like three CPO. <laughs> oh, C3PO, yeah, yeah, yeah three, C <laughs> yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Nah, nah, nah like, yeah, is but uh. He, he, he played Diddy against me, and like, that, that matchup, oh my god, the way he played was so all kinds of wrong. <laughs> so he, every time he threw a banana at me, I would witch time it, or if it was on the ground, I would witch time it. Mm. Like, he, he couldn't use that at all. Oh, wow. Like, uh, all of that is where I, I learned. I was like, Diddy Kong, what can I do against this character? Mm. Like, his, his strongest game is with items, and yes. if he can't use items, he's just playing character. Mm. He's, like, similar to Mario, except without a kill throw. Okay. Like, he has a fifth up throw 50-50 at high percents, but that's pretty much it. Mm. You can, like, technically avoid that if you just take some extra damage. Okay. So, yeah, man. So, it seems like with how you play and the innovation of your character, uh, and like you said throughout the history of you playing Zero, it seems like you're kind of the answer, you know? <laughs> you, you keep it close, and this time you, you beat them. Um, going forward, are, are you still going to have that same confidence, or you think that Zero is going to come back even stronger? You might have to use some more of that tech. Uh, he most likely will come back stronger. Okay. I, I know he's probably going to study the set, mm -hmm. uh, ask people for uh, help, yeah. matchup experience, mm -hmm. and etc. Yeah. But like, I always know a little extra something, ah, <laughs> even when people do that. <laughs> So you always gotta have something ready. That's for sure. Now talk to me real quick about fighting Nairo today. That <laughs> that matchup, like everything that happened that was just weird. Mm. Cause it was like he screwed up on a small thing and died. Screwed up on another small thing and died. And screwed up on another small thing <laughs> and just died. I was like, oh my god, you you can't <laughs> you can't just press 
anything yeah. <laughs> today. Like, yeah. So a little, a little bit of a rough, rough time there, and it, and it just goes to show you, man. Sometimes uh, this game is just a game of inches, man. It's, yeah. Uh, one little mistake can cost you so much, especially with rage in this game. It's like nonsense. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, talk to me real quick about Grand Finals, oh. the reset, and then the Game 5 set 2 against Tweet. <sighs> well, <laughs> I tried to remember a bit. <laughs> like, I was, like, looking at the stage and stuff. I wasn't actually paying attention to Cloud. I was like, if he gets hair, will he, will he be good? And it, But if he gets hair, can he even actually do anything? Okay. I was like, this, this is where the matchup is now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, like, after a while, like, Lilac, like, for example, like, all I did was force myself around him because for some reason he doesn't press anything except for side B when I approach. Mm. And that time he didn't press side B. Like, okay. there's times where, where he tries to do it, but he, he's scared of something, like, yeah. because he thinks I'm going to witch time or something mm -hmm. or, or shield it. But instead, I just got around him and got center stage. So center stage is, like, really important for that character. Mm. If you can do that, you can just, just in general, really. Yeah. Because you can just like push him off stage very easily, and then he's like, oh. like most of it, most of his combos and stuff is like center stage and stuff. So it's like uh, you don't want him to be there. Yes. <laughs> you really don't want him to be there. But he has like a giant sword. And he's flinging it everywhere, mm -hmm. being like, no, stay on my space. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, uh, recently, a couple weeks ago, maybe a month, a month and a half ago, there was some debate on Twitter about that matchup, Cloud and Bayonetta and who actually wins uh, or how close is the matchup what do you feel about bayonetta versus cloud i think it's like 60 40 in her favor like okay. a little bit more even like 55 45 okay like if anything like if you play the matchup perfectly it's, it's like per perfectly even mm. but it's like extremely hard yeah because like cloud a lot of cloud stuff lasts forever and like his recovery Mm, it's yeah. like you gotta always mix up the recovery, do this, uh, recover under, recover high. Yeah. The re recover high is like the hardest part against Bayonetta. And one thing that I just wanted to point out is you made very minute adjustments, especially against Zero and Tweak, because they SDI'd out of your Witch Twist so yeah. well. Tweak going straight up and Zero uh, doing the uh, one that goes straight out at the max distance. Uh, just talk to us very quickly about that. What are these type of adjustments that you had to make? Those types of adjustments, like for Zero, I had to delay my combo slightly because you can actually delay it. Okay. It, it's like, it's, it's not noticeable by the human eye, but you can mm -hmm. delay it by like a point Couple of pixels, a second. Yeah. yeah, like just a little bit. That, mm -hmm. That's all it takes to actually change the combo. Like a lot of her combos actually work that way, where you have to wait an extra second for it to actually oh, work. Otherwise, okay. it doesn't. Is it, wow. But you can't actually notice it. So even if you SDI or anything, you can actually still fall into her combo and die. Wow. That's what. That's why I'm like, eh, the that was against zero. <laughs> you had to do that. Yeah. Right? And then against Tweak, when he's popping out the top of it, there was a sequence when you got an up B, and he popped out the top, and you did nothing but fall down, and then you detilted and proceeded to death combo. Him. Yeah. Things like that uh, were some of the adjustments. But anything else that you had to throw in there? Uh, like sometimes you gotta actually just reset. Like, okay. Because like where she resets is like di diagonal. Mm -hmm. So you when you get hit, you get pushed in that spot where you where you can't even air dodge. Yeah. That means she can actually just down tilt at your landing or something, and then yes. you can't do anything. And like technically, it's still all a combo anyway. Yes, and that move is so good because yeah, it, that's it why they nerfed a low <laughs> profile. Yeah. Yeah, they nerfed the range on it, right? Yeah, th thankfully. Otherwise, it'd be like ah, I would spam it even more. <laughs> 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 oh man. So, yeah, let, I, th I think that, that might wrap it up, man. So, do you have anything to say to the fans out <laughs> there? Because, uh, like I said, man, I can't stress it enough. You're an innovator in any of the characters that you play. And uh, people can learn a lot from watching you. Not just with the character, but just in the fundamentals in general. So, um, I definitely stress you guys watch a lot of his matches <laughs> and learn. But uh, anything you want to say to the people out there, to any of the <laughs> players... Any of the players, well, a shout out to Zero because he's gonna watch it. Like <laughs> 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 uh, we always have like great matches. Yes. Out. I, I always love playing him, even, even in Brawl. Even though it's a bit more frustrating because we met it next year. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, a shout out to Wounded Dragon. He, okay. Nobody knows about him, <laughs> but he's like he's shout pretty out good. Shout to Wounded Dragon. He, he, he's someone on training. So okay. Eventually, you'll see him. And All you'll right. Definitely know who he is. All right. Definitely. Cool. <laughs> All right. Character. Uh, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> 
All right, under construction, <laughs> work <laughs> in progress. Under construction, yeah, yep. definitely. Okay. Uh, uh, shout out to Clash Tournaments because, mm -hmm. you know, hosting a great stream. Yep. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> but, uh, shout out to all the Bayonettas because I actually took, took a lot of information and stuff from them. Because a lot, some of the stuff they have, like, even though it technically isn't supposed to work anymore, mm -hmm. I, I just switched up uh, some things. Oh, uh, okay. So, so you it modified it, tweaked it a like, little bit. Because, yeah. uh, like, pe remember, people made a bunch of combo videos when she first came yes. out. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I looked back at them and was like, a lot of these can still actually work. It's mm -hmm. just no dive game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And but, and delaying the combos, as you said, to make things Oh, work. my God. That's right. Delaying the combos with her back then, that mm -hmm. was broken. Yeah. Because, because, like, you could actually just drag them way over there. Be very oh, easily wow. and recover without dying. Cause All right. oh yeah, that's right. My set, mm -hmm. that my when my wet set. I just want to say something about uh -huh, that. Yeah, set yeah, with DK no Whale. Oh okay, yep. <laughs> where on uh, his first stock, I just straight up killed him. That was one of the combos where I'm actually supposed to live, but because of how the game just changed, oh the nerf, okay. I actually have to die now. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, yeah. When you did the four day yeah. spell, wow. All right then. So they're they're giving me the signal to wrap it up. Right. So that's what we're gonna do. So your clash tournaments. Salem, your Collision 14 champion. Congratulations again, my friend. Always a pleasure to watch you play, and I love casting your matches for sure. So, guys, thank you very much. Salem, the winner. It's your boy Gunblade signing off. You can follow Salem on Twitter at Salem underscore Aran and me at Gunblade SWR. See you later.